Hey everyone, it's MK. So today I'm going to do a little bit a different video. I'm going to do a little instructional video at the machine because I had um, a person online ask me a question about stitching in the ditch. And they wanted to know if I stabilize my quilts by doing stitch in the ditch before I quilt all of the other designs. So the first thing is, first thing is I'm in my workout clothes today. I just came from the trainer this morning. So you've got kind of limited makeup going on. Um, and my trainer calls me the iron quilter. So here we go today with iron quilting. Second thing is, is just to be quite honest with you, I don't do a lot of pre-stitch in the ditch. I pretty much do what I call wiggle ditching, and I do that after I do my other quilting. Now that depends on a couple of things. If the quilt is pretty square, it's on the frame nice and straight, it's pretty flat, and I can keep it pretty square going through the, uh, going through the frame, then I will just not worry about doing the pre-ditching. I'll just do my quilting, and I go back and do the wiggle ditching. I'm hoping that you can see on this quilt right here that I did this quilting in rows, okay? So there's some narrow rows and then there's some wide rows. This quilt was very flat, it was nicely pieced. So I'm just doing the quilting and then I'm going back after the fact to do what I call the wiggle ditching. Okay, what exactly is that? What I'm basically doing is I'm going over my seams just to anchor them down so that they don't pop up and be very noticeable. And all I'm doing is just grabbing the machine. I try to keep my elbows in at my side. I try to keep a loose grip on the handlebars. And I'm just gonna kind of wiggle, a combination of wiggling my body and just wiggling the machine along this long seam line. I pretty much only do this left to right. And the other thing, just a tip before I start and actually show you this row. I leave my machine in Pro Stitcher mode. So I disengage the motor, but I have not put it into free motion. I just leave it, Pro Stitcher's engaged. I'm just gonna be driving it with the handlebars, all right? I usually just leave the settings on whatever setting it was I was last quilting with. Usually for me, that's somewhere between 12 and 14 stitches per inch, and I usually stitch in cruise mode. All right, so I'm just gonna do this long pass from left to right over the top of this seam. Now the other thing that you probably can't see really well is my feet. Okay, I don't wanna be doing a lot of stepping side to side when I'm doing this because I'll get a lot of jiggles in my stitching. So what I'm actually kind of doing is moving my feet in this shuffle kind of a motion so that I'm trying to keep as as steady and even as I can going across the path. All right, so I'm gonna bring my, my thread up. This might get a little bit loud as the machine goes on. All right, I'm just gonna do a little tie off here on my infinity, I have that on my handlebar. All right, here we go, my elbows are in and I'm just gonna do this wiggle ditch along the side. Here we go. just manually backtrack a little bit, go down and cut my thread. I'm only doing it that way because my thread cutter's on the fritz right now. But anyways, that's how I do it. So on this quilt, uh, again, I did all of the row quilting. Before I advanced, every time I just went through and did that wiggle ditching. Now the pass that I just did, I had forgotten that pass, but I noticed that and I just went back and did it. So that was a very uh, timely question for me today. So I hope that helps. Um, try wiggle ditching. I think it gives your quilt a little bit, it's just a little bit different, maybe a little bit softer look, maybe a little bit on the whimsical side, and it's not so, you know, it's not so harsh and straight. Now certainly there are opportunities for, you know, straight line ditching. Of course, around applique, you would probably want to do that. Um, if your quilt is really not square, you're going to want to, you know, do the straight line ditching. 
I just pretty much try to avoid that just because I want to keep quilting fast and I just want to get it anchored down. Um, so wiggle ditching is the way that MK rolls most days. All right, everybody, from my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye.